Hello guys, hello ladies. Today you discuss about the basic concept of multifocality. This, this lecture is amazing because you need to understand the bifocal and the trifocal diffractive IOL. I, I believe you really like this, this lecture, okay? So, here the synopsis of this, this lecture. Diffractive rings, or kind of kinoform. Understand the power of the refractive elements. Controlling the light energy split, because you know if you, if you uh, have a, a, a big split, you can have uh, night symptoms. Bifocal IOLs concept, how to switch from a bifocal to a trifocal diffractive element or diffractive IOL. Apodizing a trifocal diffractive element or IOL. Understand the pupil dilation and pupil constriction in trifocal IOL, multifocal trifocal IOL. Okay, so let's start with kinoform diffractive ring. It is the, the secret, the key for the the multifocality in this kind of IOL. And here is a top view of a diffractive rings, as you can observe, it's so easy. I believe everybody knows it's about this kind of uh, bifocal or trifocal uh, diffractive IOLs. So the other name that you can use is the kinoform. Here the lateral view of the kinoform, okay? Uh, in this point is the, the far part, and here, you have the kinoform that you produce the multifocality for you. Perfect. Let's go. What's happening when the light came to the these diffractive rings? Part of the, the light goes to near, as you observe here, and part of the light go far. And because this, this split of light, this light split, you can have the night symptom. Okay? So, this is the base of a diffractive IOL. The kinoform divides the light part to near, part to far, part to intermediate. Okay, now let's go to understand the power of the refractive element, the diffractive rings. Observe here, these two rules is important when you go to design a trifocal IOL. Okay, larger kinoform base or larger diffractive ring base, it's equal a lower diopter power, okay? For example, this one, okay, as you can observe here, this one is larger than this other two. So, this one is 1.75 diopter. Observe this one, 3 diopter, and observe this base, so it's smaller Okay, observe here, the smaller kinoform base, smaller diffractive rings is equal greater diopter power. So this is the most important point that I want you to understand today about how to produce a trifocal IOL with far near intermediate. So if you want your patient read in intermediate, for example, you need you need a larger kinoform, large base. Okay? This is the first rule. So, the second rule is control the light energy split. How you can do it? This is uh, an uh, uh, illustration that I take from the Dr. Gatineau, Gatineau, Damian Gatineau website. You can find some uh, amazing uh, information about trifocal IOLs in this, uh, uh, this auto. So, you can observe, spacing, control the power, but the high, you control the light energy split. So, if you want in your IOL less energy split, less night symptoms, less uh, halos, you need to modify this high, okay? This is the second rule to produce an amazing trifocal IOL. So, night symptoms and multifocal, trifocal IOLs. So, sometimes your patient can uh, come for your doctor office and he can tell, I am with glare, or, and I am with halo or starburst. You need to understand that the, the, the main symptom about multifocal IOL, as you can observe here, is halo. 
ok? The glare is most common with uh, posterior capsular op opacity, ocular surface, for example, a patient with dry eye, and sometimes the patient uh, asks for you, I, I have a problem during the night, but you don't uh, show for your patient what is halo and glare. And you think it's because the trifocal eye well, but not. Sometimes the problem is the glare, because the dry eye that you can observe in the postoperative. And starburst, astigmatism, and posterior capsule opacification. Okay? So,